The following contest will be decided on single scratch rules. And you're scheduled for one fall, the time limit of 15 minutes. Entry first, accompanied by Falcon. He is one half the team champions, the Firebirds. From Tampa, Florida, Pyro! This was a fucking battle. For a few seconds, this place was Armageddon. I still say their music should be the ambiguously gay duo. I really do. Not stick and Tweety Bird. And that's why you went to a sensitivity class, Mr. Bishop. No, you went to the sensitivity class. I was just had to drive here and broke ass. Yes, girls, girls, you're both pretty. We got a match. This is what I'm working with now, Falcon. I didn't. The Firebirds stand before you today. Not only is the greatest looking team in WAW history, but the greatest team in WAW history. See, we beat FBA at Legacy, who beat FMJ, who beat Asylum, which means we beat all those teams, which means we are the greatest team of all time. Watch out. Now we're up against some juggalo losers. Who think they stand a chance? They can barely pick up a win. I want to know what they're gonna bring to a part that makes them think that they're gonna walk away with the Firebirds team championships. Now, accompanied by Riddles, from somewhere in the Triple O Nation, Hex! I don't know you're going to tell him, it's Newton, Massachusetts. He's from Newton, Massachusetts. So Newton, Massachusetts is in the Triple O Land? I guess. Alright. Well, parts unknown, thank you for the Triple O Land. Here they come, two of the inner city posse, Hex and Riddles. Hey, you were originally supposed to fight Buddha tonight, but unfortunately, he got the place where Gerardo's co-hosting. The Curly Team's hosting gathering this year, motherfucker. So guess what? Who's winning now, bitch? I got Hex gonna whoop your ass instead. What does whoop whoop mean? I, you're really asking me. I know I'm supposed to know stuff like this, but I have no idea. Okay. Isn't it like whoop whoop whoopie pie? Or? Uh, whoopie pies would be actually pretty, pretty, pretty good right about now. Mm. All right, we have Hex. We have Pyro. Both members of both members of both teams who are going to be seeing each other at Apocalypse for the team championship. And I don't know. We haven't seen much action from Hex lately. The uh, I hear in the background, they call it backstage, they call them the Hexcellence of Execution. The Hexcellence of Execution. You know what they call him backstage? Enlighten me. Nothing. Kids. They don't really bother with him. He's the waste of space from Newton, Massachusetts. We needed an extra in a battle royal. I grabbed him, threw him a mask, and put him in the ring. Well, he's got a pretty good wrist lock now going on Pyro. However, oh, rakes the eyes. Rake. It's not very good now, is it? Well, Pyro, again, very tricky. Very, despite his small size, he has hung with the Giants. And off the ropes coming in. Big shoulder block. Now up Pyro ropes, going up, up in. Down and under. The fire building. This is where it was. Wow. Hip toss. Beautifully done. That's usually where Pyro has his strength once he gets that momentum going. But. Up and over. Oh, wow. Japanese arm drag. Hex doing well tonight. There's another one. A little Let's bit see. different version. Let's see if he go juggle a little uh, arm drag. I don't know. Big scoop. That's the basics there. One, two, nope. 
Well, again, if Hex is smart, Pyro, as I said, for his small size, he is very quick. You get him speeded up, that's when you're in danger. And here we go, this is my point! And another big knee. And now Pyro, oh God, right to the wrist, I think. Hurting the hex, I'm a hex. And oh no, heading upstairs. Walking the top row, oh no, dragon fire. Overcastle, excuse me, two. Yeah, there you go. You want to try a little better there? One, two. And the fans getting behind Hex. Working matchstick man there in the corner. Off the ropes. No, wait, reversal. And incoming big diving shoulder there. And oh no, what is he doing? Oh, come on. Come on, get it red. Come on, red guy. I know he has to fight, but for the love of the gods. Yeah. And Pyro heading upstairs. Oh no, this could be very bad. Incoming! Oh, down goes Hex. This could be it. One, two. Wait, no, hold up. One, two. Hex showing a lot more skill lately. Holding his own against the team champ, one of the team champions. Nope. Unfortunately, makes the rookie mistake. And here we go. Hex trying to return the favor, but now full Nelson. Oh, there it is! Down! And now walking in the dragon bite. And wait a minute! Wait a minute! Come on! Red guy, watch it! Riddle's making the save. Going for the Rufus Hex. One, two, nope. Can't chant his name. The, wait a minute. Pyro reverses. Holds up on the corner. And unfortunately, yeah, here it is. This is what it is. Dragon fire. Boom. Oh, this is it. This is it. There's nothing left. One, two. Pyro picking up the win against one member of the inner city posse. But I don't know. Keep in mind, Riddles is still fresh and Voodoo is still not accounted for. So they may have only done damage to one member that they may not face from Apocalypse. Champions, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Turkey and toothpick. The following contest is a three person sudden death match. Entry first from Montreal, Canada, Laura Harris. A three-person sudden death, and first out, Lethal Laura Harris, not looking too happy either. I don't know, does she ever look happy? No, she no. doesn't, no. Entry second for Sucker Japan. Trixie Hayden! Oh, their opponent! Oh, one of them, I wish. Oh, Chaz, don't look! Don't look, Chaz! Easy, boy! I want to talk about polar opposites. Pissed off and angry. Perky and perky. I'll give you a guess where the second perky is. Yeah, of course, Chaz. Thank you very much. Sicko. It's a good movie. And it's referred Hollywood, California. Paul for me! Hey! 
one half of Fresh Money. From Pollywood, California, you know them, you love them. The men, the women love them, the men want to be them. It is just a PC Fresh. I keep it short. I'm pretty sure this is a dream for PC Fresh. He's in the ring with two lovely ladies. Although one of them, I'm pretty sure, is not going to give him the time of day. I don't think either of them are going to give him the time of day, to mm, be honest. Probably not, but hey, you know what? Lethal Laura Harris, PC Fresh, Trixie Hayden. This, this is shaping up to be a good match here. A lot of power, a lot of experience. And a schoolgirl. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd like that, Chaz. Of course. Yeah. Well, the fact is right here, let's get to the... Uh, the nitty gritty of it all. This right here is, uh, well that's a double headlock. What this is is showcase the Team Battle Royal. Those are three teams right there. Random Acts of Violence, Team Rocket, and of course Fresh Money in the ring. This is all momentum leading to Apocalypse. Off the ropes, double clothesline, two PC. Yeah, really? oh. that wasn't gonna work, oh God. Really, oh. really Trixie. Seriously, Trixie is like half of Roy Harris and I'm not sure which half. Now, Laura Harris is oh a force God. to be reckoned no with here. Kidding. And oh she my has gosh. no problem telling everybody what they she thinks of you. No, that's why and she's she usually is, not highly. Well, no, that's why she is lethal, Laura Harris. I mean, look at this power, just tossing around PC. And, and tries a drop kick that barely doesn't, doesn't, doesn't her. even move her. And Trixie, wrong road, wrong track and wrong train there, little girl. She has a spirit, you know. Trixie the trick, Miss McGee, she has spirit, but uh, Spunk is only going to get her so far. Yeah, well, they're about to get run Trixie over. Sandwich. Oh, God. Oh, and, uh, good oh, wow. God. Big just throwing pill. Oh, come on, out of nowhere. And the fans trying to get behind Trixie, but... Oh, suplex on two. Nope. She almost just cost herself the match. Well, Laura Harris now a force to be reckoned with. One half of Random Acts of Violence, or one third, I should say. A lot of power in that team, and she's part of it. And here she is setting up again, getting up ahead of steam. This is going to suck. And oh, they finally uh, work. They got to work together here, actually, to get Miss Harris out of the way. The unstoppable force and the immovable object she is. Oh, she's Shake. both of them at once. Off the ropes. Catches herself. Wait a minute. Oh! Didn't even look behind her. One to the, her. One to the mush. And well, that right there is proving why she actually is a threat in this oh battle royal. Oh, my oil. God. Throwing PC Fresh up and over. You know, I can't help but wonder what would happen if she faced another big, another one of our powerhouses, Carnage, for example. Maybe old school Rob Vitelli. You know. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh wait, uh, Trixie getting used as a battering ram, and Trixie Take goes away and tries to move and rolls um, Miss Harris out of the ring. However, this is, is something that that Laura is out, but it is still every every man or every woman for themselves. Did she just kiss him? I think she just kissed him. Is that legal? I don't think that's legal. Oh, damn! Oh, line. That is, however, big boot to the mush. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! oh driving her to the ground. Lethal double underhook. DDT. One, one, two, three. three. There it is. Oh, you want to be friends, buddy, yeah. buddy? Yeah. Buddy, buddy in a triple threat match. The fact is that the Battle Royal, that's not going to do you any favors if you want to be number one contender. Well, Laura Harris proving her moniker means something. Good God. Yeah, the lethal injection indeed. Well, uh, Paul Clement being the gentleman and helping poor Trixie out. Hopefully he doesn't slip anything in her drinks. Hey, hey, hey. 